Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Nova 12i and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So let's get started by opening up our settings and I'm going to start off with the super device option right here. Now this allows you to link uh, Huawei devices together. Now basically it allows you to connect things like laptops, uh, phones, tablets and so on and uh, allows you to, for instance, have a cross-device clipboard and hopefully some other functions, maybe like picking up calls or stuff like that. Now, the description right here isn't necessarily too informative in the features that it offers. And in the more settings, we only have the suggest devices and then cross-device clipboard. Hopefully it offers a bit more. Now, moving to the home screen and style. Here you have generally just a page where you can customize the look and feel of your device, uh, which will include things like themes, always on display, wallpapers, uh, magazine unlock if you use that, and icon uh, shapes, colors, and so on. But also below here, you will find home screen style. Standard is not standard to well, the device that this uh, is, which is basically as close as it can be to Android. Uh, it's trying to mimic Android, but it's also trying to rip off Huawei uh, look, to be honest. And that's kind of what it's trying to do here. I think standard for just all your apps smack in the middle of a home screen. That ain't standard. So I personally do prefer the app drawer, which you can enable right here. Let's give it a second. And from here, you can just swipe up and have access to all your apps organized alphabetically and also it leaves your device a little bit cleaner with less clutter between different pages so you can have more important applications on your uh, on your home screen and the rest of applications that you might not use as often just hidden away here now going back to the settings you can now navigate to display and brightness and here we have also dark mode now, I don't remember if the device allows you to choose light and dark mode throughout the setup process, uh, but no matter if it can or cannot, or gives you this option, uh, you do have additional option in here, uh, which is the schedule mode. So when enabled, it allows you to choose a start time, which the device will switch from a light to dark mode, and then end time, obviously, where it will swap it back to light mode. So this basically allows you to not be flashbanged by your own device during nighttime if you wake up and you want to check your time pretty handy option. Now moving a little bit further down we have color mode and temperature and here we have a couple options for the display saturation. By default almost every device is set to vivid which for the most part vivid is a little bit overdone. Uh, here the difference between the vivid and uh, normal is quite drastic as you can possibly see. Uh, so that's one thing that I can change if you find the colors to be a little bit too vibrant. And then below that, we have also just hues to the display. So we have warm, which is more orange. Uh, then we have cold, which is more blue. And the default is just trying to be white. Now, you can also drag this little dot right here yourself. You can see it tries, changes the hues of the display. So there we go. Now moving on to the last option in here, we have the uh, refresh rate for the display. And right now it's set to high. Um, I wouldn't recommend running it on high. This will just waste a little bit more of your phone's battery, which it doesn't give you any benefit for doing so. So if you plan to save as much battery as possible, select standard, which will just run at 60. And if you like the smoothness, I do recommend only dynamic, not high. The reason for that is, is the difference between high and dynamic is that high tries to run run the display always at 90 while dynamic runs it at 90 only when there is something being moved like right now the moment there is nothing moving on the screen it drops it down to 60 to try and preserve as much battery as possible now moving on let's go back to the main settings page and we can scroll down to system and update and then system navigation. And here we have the two different navigation styles for the device. By default, if I remember correctly, this phone will come with three button navigation enabled or give you the option to change it. Uh, so you can swap it in here. And additionally, 
you have the option to go into the settings for the gesture navigation and... Uh, okay, never mind, this phone doesn't give me the option to enable the little bar at the bottom. Uh, in some devices, even Huawei itself, which I just had the 12S, has the option to enable the bar, but it looks like it doesn't have that option in here. So anyway, so uh, with that being said, this would conclude the tweaks and tricks I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.